Alright, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell Inspiron 15 in 1 Alright, so we're going to use a PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. You want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. Alright, so we got four going along here. We got one here, two here, and then three here. And that's how I put it. If you want, you can put three in a row like that. If whatever works for you, that will help me remember as well. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and continue moving all these screws. All right. Just like this. Okay, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Alright, so I think the customer had this open before or I don't know if something's broken. But anyways, after removing those screws, you can see we can kind of lift up here. All right, and then what I do is I kind of slide my fingernail along here to pop the clips while I'm kind of lifting it up. Um, you can use plastic pry tools, whatever works for you, but this works for me. And these tools are what I always have on hand, so that's what I use. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that we got that up, let's see if we can kind of wiggle this out. Okay, the bottom here is kind of stuck, so let's see, maybe we have to pry this as well. Yep. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to go along here and pop those clips out. And there we go. We got the bottom cover off. Let's set that aside. All right, so this one, the hard drive was going bad, so we're going to be replacing it with a, an SSD. I did clone it, but it did have issues reading, so I don't know if it's going to boot or not. We'll find out. Okay, um, we're just going to go over what we see inside here. So let's actually zoom in. Okay, so here you can see there's two slots for RAM, but only one stick is being used. We're going to pop these two things to the side, get that out, and you can see we have PC4 2400T. Okay, that's the RAM. All right, we'll put this back in. If you want, you can get another stick of RAM matching. So get two eight, another 8 gig stick and have 16 gigs. All right, you got the LCD LVDS connector. If you're gonna mess with this, it's very important that you disconnect the battery first, open up the laptop, and press and hold the power button for 15 seconds. Again, that's very important. If you don't, there's a very good chance you're gonna destroy your computer. Battery model number is here, WDX0R. Okay, we are gonna be replacing the battery, so we actually got a replacement. And we're also going to be actually completely upgrading the RAM because they wanted to have extra. So we're actually going to upgrade it to 32 gigs of RAM. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this out and let's upgrade their RAM. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this out actually. Oops, sorry. Pull this out, pull these two tabs to the side, pops up like that. Whoops, let me mute my phone real quick here. Okay. All right, so we got that stick of RAM out. Let's go ahead and get the new RAM. Okay, got to pop it out of the packaging. All right, so let's go ahead and get this in here. Goes in at an angle. Hopefully this laptop actually supports the full um, 32 gigs of RAM. Okay, just like that. We'll find out once we go to try and power it up. Okay, oh, is there? There's like crumbs and junk stuck in there, so let me make sure to clear that out. Because that's preventing it from seating properly. And if the RAM isn't seated properly, then it's not going to boot up right. So you want to make sure there's nothing stuck in there. Okay, hopefully the RAM is okay. Get that in at an angle, and we'll click it down. All right. Okay, next thing we're going to do, we're going to have to get the battery out. If you're wondering, yeah, you don't have to disconnect the battery to change the RAM or the hard drive. The main one you need to remove the battery for is the LCD LVDS. So these two connectors, make sure to disconnect the battery. And as long as you're careful, you'll be okay. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and remove the battery now. Okay, the battery is difficult to remove. I'm actually going to remove it from the bottom side here. So let's zoom out and we're going to remove the battery 
from here. So there's two screws, one here and one down here. Okay, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift this up and we're gonna turn it this way. We're gonna grab the battery connector here and we're gonna kind of wiggle the battery while we kind of hold this and hopefully we can pull this out. There we go, it's kind of coming. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take this battery. You can see it's slightly inflated, that's going bad. So we're gonna put that aside. We're gonna get the replacement battery. Okay, there we go. Here's what the battery should look like. You can see it's not inflated at all, right? In fact, it's actually the opposite. It's deflated, it's like suctioned in. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this battery. Well, I guess since we have the battery disconnected, let's actually go ahead and start um, removing other components first. Okay, so we're gonna do the hard drive uh, because why not? All right, let me actually move this stuff out of the way and we're gonna put the SSD in. What kind of bug is this? Okay, well, let me make some room here. Okay, so we're gonna remove the hard drive now. There's three screws holding this in place. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get that out. Okay, now we should be able to lift this up. Yep. All right, and then we're gonna pop this connector out. It is held in with some tape here, so I'm gonna actually leave it connected, or I'm not gonna take the tape out, but I'm gonna pop this connector out. I just get my fingernail in this little gap here. Let me see if I can zoom in to show this better for you guys. Okay, move this over a bit. Okay, so I do is I get my fingernail in this gap and then I use the back of my fingernail onto this edge while I, so I can pry it out. So just like this and pry it, okay. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Let's see, I can rotate it here. Be careful with the cable. We're gonna do the same thing on this side, okay. Get my fingernail in there and pry it. You can see it's popping out. And then once we get one side, we can kind of pull this out. All right, so there we go. We're gonna transfer this, um, uh, what do you call? Whatever this metal tray bracket thingy is, we're gonna transfer that over to the new drive or the SSD. Okay, if you're wondering how I copied everything over, um, there's a software, just let me know. I can send you a link if you need help finding that, or you can go to my playlist. It's in my um, general computer repairs playlist. Okay, so there we go. Get all those screws out. And then we're gonna go ahead and plop the hard drive out just like that. Get the new hard drive or SSD, line it up, get it into the tray. Okay, make sure everything's good. And we'll just get all these screws back in. Uh oh, somebody's calling me. All right, give me a second. Get all these screws in. Let me answer this call real quick. I'm gonna finish this and then I'll be back. Okay, so we got this tray and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Okay, just like this, line it up, get it all lined up. All right, and let's get all the screws back in. Hopefully the new RAM is going to work okay. Oops, sorry, it's out of view. All right, let's go ahead and look over what's all in this board now. So you have the power button and the volume buttons down here. All right, they're on their own separate board. There's a cable running up and the cable connects right there, all right? You got the CMOS, BIOS, RTC, real-time clock battery, whatever you wanna call that. Um, then you got the SD card slot as well as this USB port. Um, this is all on a separate board here that connects to the motherboard with this cable. So if any of this stuff breaks, they are all replaceable, wireless card as well. All right, these kinds of cables, there's a latch here. You flip this metal latch up and then you can pull that out, but I'm gonna leave that in. Okay, um, then you got the fan, two screws here, and the connector here. I think this fan was replaced at one point because usually they don't put this kind of sticker on it. CPU is soldered to the motherboard right there. All right, uh, what else we got? This connector for the hard drive, if you wanted to remove it, you just pull it straight up. Okay, then you got the connector here, 
that connects to this little board which connects to the touchpad as well as the keyboard backlight, keyboard connector, and this cable here for the battery um, or power indicator light. Speakers here, there's wire runs along and they both plug into this one connector here. And DC jack charge port connector, very easy to replace. One screw here, you can pop this up. This connector, you just grab the wings, kind of wiggle it to pull it back that way. All right, LCD, LVDS connector stuff here, touch screen connector, most likely this one with the webcam. This one, you can flip this latch up and pull that cable out. But um, yeah, we're pretty much almost done with our repair. Let's go ahead and reconnect the new, or connect the new battery, not reconnect it, but connect it for the first time. Line this up, okay, and then just push that in. Okay, make sure it goes in all the way. I'm using my fingernail at the edge of the plastic here and pushing that. I'm gonna rotate this back over. Okay, get that in. We're gonna get these two screws. Sorry, I know it's going out of view, but we're gonna get these two screws in. Okay, line that up and line this one up. All right, there we go. Good, good. All right, so now what we're gonna do, um, just in case it's not gonna work, we're gonna actually open this up and try and power it up right now. You wanna carefully, slowly open it because you don't have all the screws holding this. So it might actually be best to put the bottom cover and then get these screws in first. These screws are actually coming a little bit loose, which is not good. Um, I might want to actually put some thread locker there, but let me just tighten them up for now. Okay, and then we're going to put this cover here. And we're just going to put the four screws in first because we want to make sure that none of this comes loose back here. Okay, very important. You don't want the hinges to end up breaking the screw mounts. Okay, let's go ahead and tighten those in. All right, once we get those four in, we should be good. Okay, there we go, and last one here. All right, so now we got all of that in. Let's go ahead and see if we open this up, if it's gonna power up okay, or if it's just gonna beep or do nothing. So, power it up. So far, nothing. <laughs> Oh, actually, this light's on. You can see it was like blinking for a little bit. So I'm going to plug it in. Maybe the battery's low. And yeah, we'll see. All right, let me push the button again one more time. Oh, I hear the fan spinning. So it's probably booting up. It's doing something. I don't know what it's doing. The fan just stopped maybe because I pressed it again. So let's push it one more time. Okay, this light turned on. Let's see, maybe it doesn't like the RAM. We'll find out. Okay, it might be it's limited and can't handle 32 gigs. So we'll see what's happening. Right now, nothing's coming on the screen. Okay. I don't see or hear anything right now. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go, Dell logo came up. Are we gonna get it? Is it gonna load? The, again, we cloned this. Okay, so amount of memory has changed, obviously. We're gonna continue. Oops, what's going on there? <laughs> it's doing weird stuff right now. Okay, let me flip this over. I don't know if it's doing weird stuff because of what's going on with it not being completely reassembled, but we're gonna continue and we'll see what happens, all right? Give it a bit, it's booting up. Is it gonna start spinning? Or are we gonna be in trouble because the new SSD, the clone didn't work properly? Uh-oh, yeah, I think the clone didn't work properly. So I don't know if that's gonna work. We're probably gonna have to see about just doing a clean install and migrating stuff over. But uh, I'm gonna stop the testing for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the BIOS. I think it's F2 or delete. So let me see if I can reset the BIOS settings to boot from the new hard drive, okay? So again, I don't know if the clone went through properly, so maybe it's just not booting up. Is it completely shut down or is it still on? I don't know what this thing's doing. <laughs> it's just completely blank. There we go, F2. 
All right, so F2 says preparing setup at the top corner. Okay, what I'm gonna do, oh shoot. Is their BIOS locked? That is not good. I'm gonna have to ask them if they know this BIOS um, lock password. Okay, so I'm gonna have to ask them if they know this password because if they don't, I might not be able to even switch to an SSD here. So let me cancel this. Uh, boot sequence, I see the Windows boot manager, okay. Date and time, whatever, I think secure boot is disabled. Interesting. Okay, anyways, we're gonna exit this. I don't think it's gonna boot, but we'll find out. I'm gonna try F12, and I'm gonna see if I select the boot option. And we'll see what we got, all right? F12, F12, all right, one time boot menu. It does show the Windows boot manager there. Um, so we're gonna press that and see if anything happens. I don't think it's gonna work, yeah, nope. Okay, I'm gonna see what the customer, if they know that password, if they don't, um, I don't know, maybe this upgrade might be pointless because then I can't use the all the um, memory upgrades and everything. But anyways, any, um, snapping this thing back together, if you have a regular spinning drive, you wanna make sure the computer's off, but since we're using an SSD, I'm just gonna pop all of this back together, okay? And normally I would have popped this side in first, okay? But uh, we already got all of that other stuff in, so we're just gonna leave it, and let's go ahead and pop all of this. Okay, pop all that in, pop it all in, there we go, okay, and then we'll just get all the screws in, and that's pretty much all there is to this, hopefully this video helped you guys out, again, if it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well, if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel, every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching. You're welcome to stay as I get the last few screws in. If I figure out the BIOS password and can get around that, maybe I'll add to this video. But for now, I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this spike.